So promoter Eddie Hearn, right? He stated in a recent interview that come what February, I'm talking maybe at the middle of February, so from the middle of February until April, he didn't specify when in April, but he said he wants to have something like five fights done over a five week period or something like that. So obviously he wants cards on at that time. So he's talking about basically a five week period that would leave like say a three week gap, you know, where there's no fights going, but he wants to get a lot of these fights over the line. Now fights he's named obviously are Kelly versus Avanesian. I mean that fight is two years in the making. God damn it. Um <laughs> with the I don't I don't know. I, I wanna see it, but I think that fight is just it's just got some kind of jinx around it. Is that every time it gets scheduled it just seems to end. You know, it, as in like the fight, it just gets pushed back, so God knows what'll happen there. Josh Warren versus I think is it Sinzu or Kanzu. That'd be a good fight, man. I'm, I want to see that fight. I was sad that we didn't get to see that fight in 2020. But if we get to see this fight early 2021, I'm all for it. That's a good fight. That's a very good fight. Lastly, he said he wants to get this rematch done over the line, all but confirmed. Pavekin versus Dylan White, the rematch. He wants to get that fight made. Now, he's talking about between February, between February and April. Right, unless we forget, this fight was originally 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 said to take place in november november 21st right now had that fight had taken place november 21st i fully believe pavekin would have won way too soon after the first fight way too soon after a knockout like that for dillow white to have recovered physically or mentally right and they rescheduled it for january 30th right that got, well i would have got pushed back anyway right irrespective of things with Pavek and you know that he's saying was wrong irrespective of that it would have got pushed back anyway because all boxing in the month of January in the UK has been pushed back all right so it would have got pushed back anyway right now as it stands we don't have a date they're looking at maybe March April but Eddie Hearn is confident to get that fight over the line all right now I've said it once I'll say it again I'd be very surprised if we see that fight all right I think that Pavek at this stage in his career where right, he is when I say he's done, I don't mean in a sense that he's done as in he's got no ability, he's got no reflex, he's got no skill. No, he still has skill. But I think at world level, I think Pavekin himself might know himself that his days are numbered. And that having a rematch with Dylan White, yes, Dylan White's punt resistance may be gone. His confidence in his chin, his confidence being in there with the guy who knocked him out may be slightly dented. I don't doubt that. But... I think Pavekin must look and think, you know what, I, I got through that re I got through that first fight by the skin of my teeth. I was down twice in the fourth round. I was able to time him, land a perfect uppercut and take him out. Whilst I don't doubt I can do that again, maybe the body's not there. Maybe the body physically can't get through another training camp. You know, but we need to remember, this guy has been, uh, how many, over 20 years? You know, he was, he was the amateur. He was the high-level amateur at super heavyweight. You know, before the 2004 Olympics. I forget where that was. I think it was in Athens, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong about that, but uh, it, it, the 2004 Olympics, anyway, he won a gold medal. He turned pro. He's been fighting pro consistently since then. All right, He's had some tough fights in his career. He's taken a few beatings in his career, like from Klitschko and to an extent from AJ. You know, he's been in wars like against Taka. I suspect that the body of Pavekin probably, he knows himself that he hasn't got long left and maybe he knows that if he goes in there against Dylan White again whilst I'm sure he could win he's, he's proven already he's done it maybe he feels as though can, maybe he's not confident enough of himself to be able to get through that fight I'm just assuming because he's made look look Pavek it's made an absolute rake of money now, even before he fought Asia he was set up for life I mean he's got Rabinsky promoting him that guy just has pockets deeper than you know the deepest ocean in the world I think it's Lake Superior or deepest lake in the world, I should say, Lake Superior. I'm not sure what the deepest ocean is in the world. But Pavekin's made his money, right? He's made his money. So, part of me thinks that he is on his way out. If this rematch does, in fact, happen, I picked Dylan White the first time, all right? But I said with no great degree of certainty because I smelt an upset. I had that feeling. You know, you get that intuition, that good feeling, for a lot of things in life. And with me normally the good feeling is normally spot on. Like I had that same feeling when Joe Joyce was going to fight Dubois. I picked Dubois and I was like no. 
no, I have the feeling that Joe Joyce got to do it. I had that feeling with Povetkin in the first fight. I don't have any such feeling for this rematch. If this rematch happens, I'm going down a white by stoppage. Now, I might be wrong, but I don't have any feeling whatsoever that this that this fight is going to go the way of the first one. I think maybe if it had been in November, yes. But right now, Dillo White having some time to reassess, regroup, staying in camp, be staying training out in Portugal. I just can't see anything other than Dillo White winning this fight. You know, at this stage now, I just can't see anything other than Dillon White winning this fight. So if this rematch does, in fact, take place, personally, I don't think it will. Uh, yeah, this is just me. Uh, personally, I, I just don't. I have that feeling it just won't. But if it does, if I'm proven wrong, I'll be able to hold my hands up and say I was wrong. I'll be going with Dillon White heavily. Heavily, 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 heavily to win this rematch. Heavily. Although people will say Pavek can conduct me, I don't doubt that. Don't Do not doubt that for a second. I just think now... The longer we're leaving it, the older Povetkin's getting, the more he's going to regress. And while Dylan White is going to have some demons there, I think he should be able to get through this rematch. If, in fact, it takes place. So, interesting one from Eddie Hearn. Like that, the fights he mentioned, Kelly Evanesi and Warrant and Zoo. I mean, they're all right fight. They're great fights. Warrant and Zoo is a good fight. Um, I, I don't know about Dylan White Povetkin, though. That's one I'm kind of... 50-50, and I've said it before, that's one thing I've been consistent about ever since they announced that the rematch was getting pushed back, that it, it, it's it been one of them where I've thought, we might not see this, I've had that feeling that we might not see this, and that's just the inkling I have, so, let me know, I'm gonna call it here, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, Eddie Hearn getting some shows back up and running, I'm assuming he's gonna have some throwaway shows in there, and what I mean by that is, probably, probably like a next gen show or something like that, you know, they probably won't be anything special, the show was like, and the fighters, you know, disrespect to them. But I reckon he's going to throw shows. I reckon they're the big shows. The Kelly Evanesi and the Warrant fight and the Dylan White rematch, if it in fact takes place. I reckon for the other few shows, he'll just chuck, probably like do what he did in Fight Camp. And those Fight Camp shows weren't bad, to be fair. But um, I reckon he'll do something like that. So I'm going to leave it here. Hope you all enjoyed it. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe, of course, if you're new, if you haven't already. Hashtag G Man's Rocks, all that good stuff, lads. I lost, lost me train of thought there. Lads, I will talk to you. Peace.